okay hello students uh, in this section we are going to discuss about limit of a sequence limit of a sequence okay let's see the definition so a sequence a sequence sn is set to tend to a limit l a limit l as n tends to infinity if given epsilon greater than 0 however small there exists a positive integer let me name it as m positive integer m which is depending on epsilon depending upon epsilon such that such that mod of sn minus l is less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to m so symbolically we write this as limit of sn as n tending to infinity which is equal to l okay let us understand the meaning of this suppose you have a sequence sequence sn we have named it as sn and it moves to limit l the particular real number limit it's approaching limit means it's approaching the, the sn not, not exactly equal to l it is approaches as what happens as n tending to as the value of n the position as sn means yes n indicates the the position of the sequence that increases to infinity it moves it towards it approaches towards the l number real number l that's number is called limit l so it is a the condition uh, we have some condition for that so there uh, we have to give an epsilon greater than zero the whatever epsilon whatever epsilon but it has to be greater than zero it's a real number so yeah, however small whatever it's a, it may be a 0 0.001 there exists an integer m there exists an integer and depending upon epsilon for time naming it's let's forget about that depending upon m we'll come to know what is depending upon epsilon like m such that the mod of sn minus l is less than epsilon the, this is very important the meaning of this the mod of sn minus l is less than epsilon so this is the limit for uh, then it is called a limit l is called a limit point okay uh, if it moves particular up going to approach the real number l so that what is meaning of mod of sn minus l is less than epsilon less than maybe any real number any real number greater than zero the mod of these two the mod of these two is nothing but a distance between sn and l distance between sn and l has to be less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to m see n is greater than or equal to m after the nth stage after the nth stage it's only we can say about the l is a limit point only after the m nth stage only if this is uh, this happens only after the if this happens only after the nth nth, st nth stage then we call then we call l as a limit of a sequence let us see understand the diagrammatically this okay you have the sequence here a n a n or i have n here one two three four five okay you are suppose uh, you are the l value is here somewhere here okay then uh, okay before that uh, let us see what is sn mod sn minus l is less than epsilon so i can write this as uh, uh, so let me write this as minus epsilon less than sn minus l i am leaving the sorry this i 
I'm leaving here uh, mod, so I'm opening the mod. So you have a plus or minus. So it be the mod of Sn minus L is less than epsilon can be written as minus epsilon mod Sn, mi uh, Sn minus L less than epsilon. So let me add the uh, epsilon, uh, sorry, not epsilon, L. So you get L minus epsilon. So you get here less than Sn less than L plus epsilon. This means what? This means Sn belongs to L minus epsilon comma L plus epsilon. Sn belongs to the interval, open interval, L minus epsilon and L plus epsilon for all n greater than or equal to m. This is important. After the nth stage, after the nth stage, only, after the nth stage, after the nth stage only this is possible. So let us see the meaning of C. What do you, uh, so L is here, then you are, so your uh, Sn sequence must be uh, between L minus epsilon and L plus epsilon. So uh, this is your L plus epsilon and this is your L minus epsilon, right? L minus epsilon. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, suppose your A1 is here and A2 is here. Sorry, let me write. A1 is here, A2 is here and A3 somewhere here. Okay. Uh, A4 somewhere here and A5 somewhere here. Okay. A5, A5 maybe somewhere here or A. Okay. But after this step, let me take it as N. This is N. Let me after this stage. Suppose I let me take as N as 5. After this stage, your sequence, your SN must be inside these two lines these two lines l plus epsilon and l minus epsilon in between is the open interval you have if that is if the all the essence all the n essence after n greater than or equal to 5 after n greater than or equal to 5 so this is your m your this is your m after n uh, let me take this before n is as 5 n n this is let me take as n and this is 5 m is n is greater than or equal to 5 after this stage after this means 6 7 8 your a n's must be inside the l plus epsilon and l minus epsilon if this is so then we can say that l as a limit point a limit not a limit point a limit this is suppose this is your s 6 here s yes 7 here s yes 8 s yes 9 that means your uh, sequence approaching to l right your sequence approaching coming near near to the L, yes, A9, A10, like, okay, so that's why you are limit L, this we are calling limit, the limit meaning, meaning of the limit is approaching the towards a particular value, so after this stage, after M stage, if it is moving towards the value L, that means your, uh, all this uh, ANs must, sorry, ANs, ANs in the sense, SN here, uh, SNs, uh, I, I may sometimes use as, uh, in the place of SN as AN, so don't be confused. So here an is also same, sn is also same, both are same. Okay, so your ans must be or your sn must be inside this l plus epsilon and l minus epsilon. Then your this value l is called limit of a sequence. So I hope you understand the meaning of the limit l, lim the uh, limit. So. Let's move to the, okay, suppose if L is a limit, then the open interval, this is open interval, you have no, so the, if L is a if limit, the, uh, in the open interval contains an infinite number of terms of the sequence, infinite, so it has to contain the infinite number of sequence, suppose if it is, contains only the finite number of in sequence, if we can ca count that number, the count that sequence, then it's not a limit of the sequence. Okay, please uh, remember this. If your this open interval, if it is contains the finite number of sorry infinite number of terms, then it is called a limit point. Uh, sorry, limit of a sequence contains an infinite number of sequence. Then L is called the limit. If it is contains only finite number of sequence, then it is not called as a limit of a sequence. Okay, so we can show using this definition, we can show that. Uh, the uh, the given limit has uh, suppose the L is we can show that suppose you are uh, have given some sequence 
and which is equal to some value real number value so we can show that that is the limit of a sequence on conditions for all n uh, using these keeping in mind these conditions all for all n is greater than or equal to m and all okay we'll see see one problem based on this definition show that it's an important problem for two marks show that limit n tending to infinity 3 plus 2 root n divided by root n is equal to 2. Now we have to show that using definition, using the definition of a limit, we have to show that this is a 2 is a limit of, limit point, sorry, limit of a sequence. 2 is a limit of a sequence. That means you should get a n for all, uh, we have used the for all m greater than or equal to n. So that we have to find the m. So we have to find the n which is greater than or equal to m. Okay. Okay. Now let's see that. Okay. Let's solve this problem. Let epsilon be any positive number. Okay. So what we have the definition mod of Sn minus L is less than epsilon. Let us apply the definition for all n greater. We should get n which is greater than or equal to m. Okay, so let's see what happens. So we will apply the definition. This is yes and your. It is given like this. So we will use the definition. This is L. So we use the definition mod Sn minus L. The symbolic representation of mod Sn minus L is less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to m is this. So we will use the modulus definition. So mod of 3 plus 2 root n divided by root n minus 2 which is L less than epsilon. Now let me split the denominator 3 by 2 3 by root n plus root n by 2 root n by root n minus 2 which is less than epsilon we can cancel root n so we have left with the finally 3 by root n which is less than epsilon so we can write this as or what happens you square these terms so you get 3 by n is less than epsilon square so I got the n greater than 9 sorry this is squaring right so this is 9 this is 9 9 by epsilon square I finally found the n greater than value so let So let m be a positive integer which is greater than 9 by epsilon square. Therefore, we so we found one integer that is m. m is which is greater than this not equal to here. We got n is greater than 9 by. So our aim is to get n. n is greater than the n is greater than 9 by epsilon square. So this holds if this holds if your condition for n greater than or equal to m so you have to find the integer positive integer so see it is positive integer 9 by epsilon square is a, 9 is a positive integer uh, uh, is a epsilon square is some value we got the uh, positive integer depending on epsilon so this is a positive integer so epsilon square we get the uh, for a given positive integer positive number we said that it's a positive number so we get the positive integer here so we got the positive integer which is greater than n so we can say that such that we can say that to such that mod 3 plus 2 root n divided by root n minus 2 less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to m this means limit of n tending to infinity 3 plus root 2 root n divided by root n is equal to 2. The only our aim is to get this value, n value. We have to show that n is greater than. So if, uh, using this, uh, the definition, we got for all n greater than or equal to m. So thus 2 is the limit of uh, this particular sequence. Okay, uh, let's see one more problem. Show that show that limit n tending to infinity 
टू एन माइनस थ्री डिवाइडेड बाई एन प्लस वन विच इज इक्वल टू अगेन यू हैव टू शो दैट टू इज द लिमिट ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर सीक्वेंस विल यूज द सेम प्रोसीजर विच यू हैव फॉलोड इन द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम लेट एप्सिलॉन्ग ग्रेटर एप्सिलॉन्ग ग्रेटर दैन जीरो बी गिवन गिवन ओके देर फोर टू एन माइनस थ्री डिवाइडेड बाई एन प्लस वन माइनस टू विच इज लेस देन एप्सिलॉन्ग आवर मीन्स टू फाइंड एन एन इज ग्रेटर दैन ओके दैट इज mod 2n minus 3 minus 2 into n plus 1 we are taking common denominator here n plus 1 which is less than epsilon so this is what happens you'll get after simplification you get minus 5u divided by n plus 1 less than epsilon right so i can write this as that is so i can write this as Mod minus phi u divided by n plus one, which is less than phi u by n plus one. I'm removing the mod, so which is again less than phi u by n less than c. N plus one is less than n, so okay, right? So n plus one is less than n, so use that uh, used here, and which is less than epsilon. Why? Because this is less than epsilon, so this is less than this, and this is less than this, so this has to be less than epsilon. so that is i can i found n here that is if n is that is sorry n is greater than 5 by epsilon finally i found n is so there therefore thus you can conclude epsilon greater than 0 there exist there exist a positive integer m m i found the positive integer m this is m such that 3 Sorry, two n such that mod of two n minus three divided by n plus one minus two is less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to m. Therefore, limit two n minus three divided by n plus one as n tending to infinity, which is equal to two. It's equal to 